when you're using UV clear coat material, you're going to find two major genres. You're going to have flexible coatings. You're going to have coatings that when they cure, they cure just rock solid and hard. Uh, when finishing off patterns like this glow worm, which I'm about to do here, and I'm going all the way around the shank, I prefer to use the material that just cures nice and solid and hard. Um, but for example, if I'm curing uh, the wing case on a, a nymph pattern, like my 307 here, I prefer to use the flexible material that will kind of bend and move with that uh, as I fish it and use it. The most important thing though with UV coats is the light that you use. You need a high quality light that produces a high intensity of nanometers uh, when it comes to light. I really had good luck with this uh, Deer Creek Pro Torch. Very, very high intensity, cures it very, very quickly. Uh, a lot of the, the kind of knockoff, cheapo little UV flashlights that you buy won't fully cure it. And uh, if they do, it takes a lot longer amount of time. So, uh, we're going to come in here. I, I just have a beat up old bodkin uh, that I use for this. And I like to have something uh, that I can apply a drop or a little bit of the UV to so that I can spread it out. Um, and the, the, the rule here, the big, big rule, which I think is a key rule with all things in fly tying is that less is more. So if I start out with a smaller amount or minimal amount of material, I can always come back and I can add more as I spread this out. If I ever go too much and I cure it, I can't go back, especially with the UV material here. So with the glow worm, all I'm doing is I'm spreading this out. It's kind of a gooey, um, higher viscosity liquid before it cures. And this stuff won't dry out. You have to hit it with UV to get it to cure. So you're not in a race against time here. So I spread this out. Uh, I want to make sure that it's where it's at. It will sag a little bit. So on, on patterns like this where I'm going to cure it around the hook shank, I'm just going to slowly rotate this to kind of keep it in place. And then I'm going to come in with that light. And like I said, this is a high intensity light. It's only going to take a few seconds. And then that material is going to be nice, rock solid, and fully cured. So remember, less is more as you apply. You have the flexible, the firm, and the high intensity light is your biggest factor in effectively working with UV coats.